Hi, I'm Joshua Martin, and I'm here with this month's Property Intel Power Up. This month, I want to take a look at Pro Maps and show you how you can maximize the value with using this feature that we released last year that introduced AI data and measuring into Property Intel. <clears throat> Pro Maps is available for aerial imagery, and you would activate it with this Pro tab in the top. Pro Maps uses one credit, and it's going to go ahead and switch map to near maps if you weren't on that particular view. In order to enable a, a pro map or to make turn it on for a particular site, you will outline the full area that you want to pull in data for. So in this case, I'm going to outline this whole property. You do it just like you're regularly measuring a shape or drawing a shape, clicking, and then you can double click to end this particular shape. A thing to note is that sh shapes have to be less than 50 acres. So you can do multiple shapes on a particular area. They can do spread out. Just each individual shape has to be less than 50 acres because of the amount of data that we're bringing in and transferring back and forth. When you're happy with what you have, you can hit the submit button to bring it in. And so immediately you can see we've got a lot of different data that we can pull in for a site, building footprints. Whenever I turn these on, it's going to highlight the particular uh, feature that this has. So for building footprints, now there are actually three. Um, you just can choose the one that you would, that looks like it matches or would be the best if you only want to do one particular one. But you can kind of see some of the immediate things that you get out of it are instant data. Um, we are highlighting these and also showing you square footage. So taking, for example, surfaces, uh, you can see all this that we bring in with surfaces. So when I expand this out, you can see concrete slab, lawn, natural area, which is usually things that don't have grass on it, um, hard soft, the driveway, asphalt, uh, we do water bodies, so ponds, things like that, and also just kind of an overall road drivable surface. So again, this is a data layer. Uh, it's not an individual shape where you have drawn or interacted with it yet. It's just simply showing you the information instantly, immediately. The results are gonna vary a site to site does depend on the picture a lot. Did we get a good clear enough picture that the AI model is able to give good results? Um, so try it out, use it, see what uh, see what may work for your particular area. I will say uh, one of the better ones, most reliable across the board are building footprints and kind of the hard surfaces like asphalt and sidewalks. Um, and then turf kind of can vary from one to one. So this one you can see is, is pretty good. Others are different. But vegetation is another, and then we also have a slope visualization tool, which will kind of show you a heat map of the slope that you're doing. So a couple other things that, that you're going to do to be able to leverage this. So ProMaps also allows automated measuring. What I mean by this is that you can take these data layers and you can turn them into your actual material that you've measured and drawn with. So in this case, if I go into this particular one, lawn grass, I can click this little settings menu. And then I can say associate with an item. And so I can say select catalog item, turf, convert layer to an item. And what that's going to do, you can see here populated with the square footage now, it's going to convert all that data into uh, shapes that I can then draw and measure with. You can do the same thing for anything that you that you want. Any of those data layers, if you want them to be shapes, you can do that. So if I turn off Pro Maps, you can kind of see what that looks like now. So what I have now is all that data layer converted into shapes that I can then interact with. So I can come in and manipulate and kind of edit the shapes if I want to clean it up. Another quick way to clean things up is to use our merge identical materials. So I can turn on for my turf measurements. I can turn this on. You can use a keyboard shortcut M to enable that. And what this is going to do, so like here, you can see where I've got this hole. Um, I can come in, draw over this, and so if I wanted, say, we're going to pull in what actually it looks like this whole area, even underneath the trees is turf. So I could come in, highlight all that, double click to end it. And with merge ma identical materials on, it's going to combine all that into a singular shape. So it's going to help clean it up. So I could work through this map, cleaning these, these shapes up really quickly and easily. Um, another way that people have used this, other users have used this feature functionality is they um, will add the like building footprints, the pavement, the sidewalks, they'll convert all those to shapes and then use reverse cutout to be able to measure the turf. So if you had your parking lot 
um, and your sidewalk and your building all laid out with a reverse cutout. You can just draw over the whole property. And essentially what it's going to do is going to leave all the existing stuff like the parking lot and sidewalks and building there. And then it's going to conform your turf measurements to that. So it's a really quick, easy way to, to measure with turf that way. Um, lastly, to kind of close it out, looking at pro maps, you can, whenever it's enabled, you can turn it on here. So you don't have to go into pro maps. If you want to see everything that you enabled, you can turn it on here. And so you can see those data. So if you wanted to use it just as a guide for outlining and measuring, you can do that. Again, you can expand out the key for everything that you turned on. And then, uh, then you can also turn on the slope. So if you wanted to kind of see a good clean slope map of the property, you can see it here as it relates to the slope. <clears throat> then we give it just kind of a breakdown as you can see the different percentages. And so it helps give you an idea of what can be serviced with a mower or what can't. Are there any problem areas that are going to take more time? So thanks for taking a look at uh, this week's Property Intel Power Up. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to our team or uh, check out our knowledge base for more information of how to use Property Intel. Thank you.